Yeah. Mag's gonna keep coming. That's one thing I know. That's one thing that's for show. Sure. <laughs> ABGG Ghetto Gastro the Gang, we're here today to show you a little dish that we call sleeping with the fishes. Because the code of the streets is if you snitch, you sleep with the fishes. So we're gonna get right into this. This dish right here, we make some fish sticks inspired by the movie Coda, because you know, Ruby Rosie and her family, they're out there moving that haddock. We're gonna get straight to this. This dish right here, we're making a little fish sticks. Ruby Rosie and her family in the movie, you know, they're moving the haddock. They couldn't find any haddock at the store out here, so I just grabbed a little cod. You know, you can do this dish with, with pretty much any fish. We're just gonna cut some easy batons, take our fish, just gonna season it with like a little bit of salt, let it sit for like 15, 20 minutes. What that does is that helps like firm up the meat. Just gives it a nice chew, you know how we do. I'm chopping up the herbs, I'm gonna mix them with some of the breadcrumbs and some of the cornmeal. Adds a little herbaceousness to the fish. And then when you fry it, they fry up real nice. So what I'm doing right now, I just season up the flour. I use a little bedbede, a little spice mix, a little Eastern African spices. I'm gonna mix that in there so we season up the fish and the spices are not on the outside so they don't burn, right? So making a little egg wash. Do a little egg, a little bit of water just so you loosen it up a little bit so that the eggs mix isn't as thick. Can't have fish sticks without tartar sauce. So we're just gonna make our own little version of tartar sauce real quick. A little bit of celery, little cornichons, some shallots. A little scotch bonnet pepper. You know what I'm saying? Them knife skills pay the bills, man. I'm just gonna add a little bit of lemon juice, salt. You know, it's better to learn how to make this stuff yourself, so we show out a little bit for the homies. We're about to go dredge this fish right now. We're gonna drop our breadcrumbs in. We're gonna mix in the cornmeal with that. So it's just to add a little twist to your typical fried fish that you'll see. Make sure you get that, that crispy coating. It's gonna go straight into the flour with our fish. And you see me, I'm rolling the fish in between my hands. That just gets some of that, like those larger pieces of flour off the fish. When you're dredging, you want to keep one hand wet, one hand dry. Boom, drop that fish from the egg right into the breadcrumbs and the cornmeal. Throw it in that Harlem Shake real quick. And it's imperative that you have your oil on a specific temperature, specifically 375 at least. That's it, you hear that? That's sweet sound. music, man. Sweet sounds of hot fish grease right there. That's music to my ears, man. In the meantime, get our plate right. Got our tartar sauce. See that right there? So you're looking for that golden brown and delicious. Hit it with a little salt. There we have it, inspired by Coda, sleeping with the fishes, AKA Coda the Streets. And it's perfect for the Oscars, man, because we eat fish, toss salads, and make rap ballads, man. And you look at that golden color like the like the statue, man. We getting at you. Yeah. Yeah.